Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to Kev TV. Today, yes, we are talking. We're actually talking about the title of the blog post today. We're talking about the song from The Pretenders, My City Is Gone. A, a, a song that I loved when it first came out, didn't realize that about 15 years later, um, I would really fully understand the song. I, if you're not familiar, um, in 1982, as the flip side to their hit single, uh, Back in the Chain Gang, The Pretenders released the song My City Is Gone. You're like, okay, I'm not familiar with it. If you've ever heard the Rush Limbaugh show, that's his theme song. I don't quite know why, and their political views, Chrissy Hine, the Pretenders, and Rush Limbaugh are on way too opposite ends of the spectrum. But she released the song in 1982 as the flip side to their big hit, Back on the Chain Gang. Well, it was a time of turmoil for the Pretenders. They had released two very successful albums. Of course, Chrissy was originally from Akron, Ohio. She had moved to England as an expatriate, hooked up with Martin Chambers, James Honeymoon Scott, Pete Farndon, and, well, you're very familiar, I'm sure, with the Pretenders' music and, and how successful they were in the New Wave era. Well, in 1982, I believe it was in June of 82, uh, they fired um, Pete Farndon because of his heroin habit. Two days after firing him, James Honeymoon Scott passed away with a bad combination of drugs. So basically you have two, you know, half the band gone literally in less than a week. Chrissy, of course, was reeling. Um, about three months later, the two songs appeared and were a huge hit. In fact, it, it, it may have been, My City Was Gone, may have actually been their most successful single. I'm not quite sure, but it's real close to being their most successful pop single. And then, well, nothing for a couple of years. In 1984, Chrissy then put out those two songs again on the album Learning to Crawl. Chrissy, Martin Chambers, and a new band. And the Pretenders still continue on to this day. Well, I met Chrissy Hine back in about 1998, and other than saying hello, and I know she could care less about who I was, um, it was a big day for her because it was kind of her, her coming back to Akron for the first time in a long time. See, she basically told Akron to F off in My City Was Gone. Now, like I said, in 1982, the song came out. I was in college at Radford University in Virginia, and we got the 12-inch disc from Sire Records because they were one of the only pop labels that gave us any service. We didn't play a lot of popular music. So we were excited any time we got something that wasn't classical or jazz or big band or you know something that, that we were really focused on at the radio station. I fell in love with My City Was Gone, just loved the grooving bass line of it, didn't think anything of it. Fast forward to 1997 when I moved to Akron, and lo and behold, I learned that My City Was Gone is about Akron, Ohio. A-O, way to go, Ohio. A-O standing for Akron, Ohio. She mentions South Howard Street. She mentions downtown. Akron had gone through a lot of turmoil in the 80s, and she was upset about it. Then I meet Chrissy Hine, I think three years later. I think it was in 2000 I met her. And now she's back in Akron with a vegetarian restaurant. She has a place in Akron and kind of comes back home. Kind of interesting how a song that you like just because you like the song comes back to play an important part. The reason I bring it up today, my wife and I were driving down the road the other day, and we got to talking about the song. It come on XM, and we got to talking about it, and she really didn't know a lot about the history of it. At the time, I didn't realize how much I knew about the history of My City Was Gone. Still a great song from, from the Pretenders from their third album, Learning to Crawl. Back with you tomorrow, another video blog. You can always catch us right here at KevinMason.tv, KevinMasonBlog.com. Have a great day.